Okay, hello and welcome back to um, the RS-232 demo lesson. Uh, we're going to be, I'm going to be back on the PC now. We're going to be just, uh, we know how the hardware was connected from the previous videos. So we're going to do some writing to and from the uh, chip using the RS-232 communication protocol. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you, I kind of altered uh, our lesson five code that we saw our hello world program a little bit. We're going to say hello world first, then we're going to create a new line, and then we're just going to put a loop where basically we can just write whatever we type in. So we're just going to get C, get the different characters from the user, and then just print them to the screen. So that way you can just see anything that we type. And what we'll do is we'll do it through the tiny bootloader uh, interface just because it's that's what we'll be uploading the code to it with. So let's go ahead and pull it up. Um, we're going to browse. We're going to grab our our code, our lesson code. Um, oh, and another thing I wanted to mention is make sure you have the 19200 or whatever BOD uh, set up, otherwise this it won't work. So um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and power up our chip and I'm going to write this program to the chip and then what I'm going to do is then I'll switch to the terminal window. Now remember um, this is 19200 for the bootloader, but if you remember up here our BOD is 9600 for our um, for our little program. So you make sure in this terminal window to set this to 9600. So that way we make sure that uh, we make sure we don't have any mismatch. Otherwise you'll just you'll get garbled information if you if you don't have it set. So we'll just do this through here. So let's go ahead and write the program out. And, oh and by the way so I have time to switch to the terminal. I made it delay for five seconds uh, before it starts printing the hello world. That way we can make sure and see the hello world come across. Uh, the terminal window. So okay, so we've got our code and everything. So time to write the flash. So we're going to write the flash. So we got the write OK. It sent. So let's go to our terminal window and open up our terminal. And there it is. Hello world. Did that just in time. So now let's see. Let's type something. Let's say hello world uh, two, and we'll put an exclamation. Why not? Now we can send. Now what this is going to do is this will send character by character. Since we have it on char here, we don't have it on anything else. What it's going to do is send each character at a time. So it's going to send a character, and then you know it'll do them in succession. So that way our program will capture each character just like if you were typing them in. And it should print it. So let's hit send, and there it is. So it prints it out to the screen and to show you that um, our chip is actually working through this instead of using this tiny bootloader sometimes I like to use uh, TerraTerm. I know for those of you that have Windows 7 and Windows Vista I have no idea why Microsoft decided to do this but they removed uh, HyperTerm from it so no idea why they did that. So TerraTerm is another one it's free uh, works quite well so we'll go to Serial get our COM2 here and then those of you that haven't used TerraTerm, to do your setup, um, you just choose setup and say serial port. And here's where you can put in your settings for your 9600 and all of your stuff. So so we want we want COM2. So we should be able to just start typing and see it all come out. And there it is. I'm actually I'm actually typing on the keyboard, but the TerraTerm is not building this. The actual the actual chip is that I'm actually receiving these characters that I'm typing actually out of the chip. I'm actually seeing it come out of the chip. So when I when I'm typing, it's actually the chip printing it to the screen. It's not actually the the terminaling software printing it to the screen. It's actually my 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 chip printing this out. So there we go. There's the demo for RS-232 communication. Um, hope you enjoyed it. There's also, uh, I showed you some of the hardware put together on a breadboard. Um, if you have any questions, please post, please comment. Um, let me know anything that you maybe didn't understand or if I went over something a little too quickly, uh, please, please by all means let me know and I will uh, maybe create additional videos and kind of slow it down, show you some different pieces of it, but it's fairly straightforward, um, fairly easy to do. Uh, those of you that uh, want to try this out, give it a shot. It's a lot of fun. So again, please, po please post any comments or any questions. Please subscribe. Um, I'll be placing some more videos on. I think the next thing we'll deal with will be a uh, card reader, one of the Parallax RFID 
uh, card readers is what we'll be playing with next since it uses the serial protocol so to transmit the numbers and whatnot back and forth so pretty cool stuff we have for the future so please subscribe I'll uh, see you next time thanks